It's my last couple days doing research here on the farm and I am hoping we captured something worth noting. You can't always expect to have Bigfoot activity every time you go out. But if you go out enough times, every now and then, you will experience something. People who have encountered the Sasquatch know what it's like and understand our pursuit and wanting to know more. I have always been optimistic towards the idea of Sasquatch actually existing on this earth. Now that I know they are real, I want to know everything about them and understand their behavior. I consider myself lucky to live around the Sasquatch and others consider it a curse. At the end of this video you guys will hear the audio recordings that were captured from this trip and there were some unusual ones and a lot of them were known wildlife but you guys will have to listen to it for yourselves and decide. I plan on coming back many times and running audio and I know we'll capture some awesome things it's just gonna take time and you gotta put the work into it. If you guys enjoy these videos please like and subscribe hit the bell notification to stay up to date with all my future videos. So not too much happened last night. It was pretty quiet for the most part. The wind started picking up and it started sprinkling, which kind of sucked. I ended up calling it a night. I don't know, I heard some coyotes go off, some owls, and there were a few strange calls. There was one close to the recorder, so we'll have to see what happened. But the wind's still blowing, which is a bummer for recording audio. But hopefully after the sun comes up, the wind will calm down and we get one more night of clean audio. But if it's gonna be really windy tonight, I might pack it up and just head back. And My recorder was laying on the ground and I'm not sure if it fell out of the little protector case, that little pod deal or if something came and yanked it out. I ended up putting the recorder back and showing David and I was kind of doing this number trying to get the recorder to fall out and it was snug in there so I'm not sure what happened. Maybe there's some good audio on it. I'm thinking there probably is because that's a hot area and if they really are in there they're gonna smell where we've been or see where we were and go in and check out to see what we put up you know if you put something foreign up in their area they're gonna know it immediately and they're gonna check it out but it seems like they're not as timid with the with the audio recorders as they are with the video camera or trail cameras They're a lot smarter than what people think as well, so. But yeah, my plan today is to explore the woods and hopefully find an area that I haven't seen before and there's plenty of that. I just wanna find something new and hopefully come up with a new game plan or just find something that'll change the game. I don't know what that will be, but whatever it is, it's out there and I wanna find it. So I'm hoping to find some tracks, hopefully find a good structure. It seems like anytime I find anything that seems to be a structure, it's deadfall or just things that people have cut down in general. So there's a lot of human activity, but at the same time, I need to get off the beaten trail. So that's the plan, guys. I'm gonna walk around, explore the property, and. Hopefully I can find something good. All right, we 
got to have coffee in the morning, guys. Yeah, hopefully this gives me enough energy. I'm excited to explore the property. I know there's stuff out there to be found, and I hope to find it. All right, we are going to explore the property and see if we can run into anything and possibly find some tracks. All right, off we go. Hopefully we can find something, guys. Pretty confident that we'll run into something. There's a nice buck rub. Man, there's bucks all over this property, guys. It is loaded with deer. This whole area of Missouri is really. Some thick stuff there, guys. Look at all these ferns. Seems like they grow next to fresh water. This looks like a good spot to hide. Right back in here. Looks like buck turd. Yeah, right there. That would be an excellent spot to hide. All right, we're at the boneyard where David brings his cows whenever they die. So this is probably an area where a lot of predators like to congregate. I know we set up some trail cameras here and we, we caught a lot of coyotes. So there's definitely a lot of predators here. And they say sometimes the Sasquatch like to hang out with the coyotes. So I'd like to sit up here and listen and maybe I can hear something really strange and unusual. It's a really high spot, so it might be a good spot to hang audio as well in the future. But I found this rib bone. I think that's what it is. And I'm gonna do a knock with it on the tree to see what it sounds like. Crap, guys. I think this is like the pelvic bone off of one of the cows. Let's see how well this works. It's kind of scary. It's got like the big eyes like a Sasquatch. It's 
a big hog. This is a hog skull right here. You can see the tusks. They're pretty big. Can you imagine that getting into you? Definitely kill you if it hit you. All right, I didn't find anything too unusual back there, but like I said, David really takes care of this property and there's so much land around here. So it's like Canada out here basically, or like the Rocky Mountains. There's a lot of land to work with. Man, I'd love to find just the solid X structure out here. I wonder if they quit putting up structures because David pushed down the axe that they put up in the middle of the trail. Rightfully so, it's David's trail that he made, so he's gonna have to use it, basically. And the Sasquatch feel like this is their woods, so they put it up there to let David know that they are in the area. Other than running audio and trail cameras, what do you guys want to see me do out here? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'd love to see what you guys have to say. If you would, list like practical things, things that are feasible. I don't want to start tying up batteries and 360 cameras on satellites and doing crazy things that I can't afford. I would love to try things that or in my realm of possibility. For example, I'm saving up for a Pulsar thermal device and a parabolic microphone. I think that would work well out here and we definitely get some cool things. At least capture some cool stuff. I definitely believe that. All right, we're back on a trail. David's got trails out here everywhere it seems like. I'm gonna head back to camp and see if David will possibly take me down to trail 12 and maybe let me explore a little bit. I wanna see if I can find any good deer sign and some Sasquatch sign. I think it'd be awesome, guys. But yeah, this is the best way to have a Bigfoot encounter, experience something, is just walking out in the woods and hoping that you'll run into something, basically kick something up. Just catch something with its hands down its pants. It's basically the way it works. Oh boy, I think I'm lost. I knew I was gonna get lost. Oh well. I know that looks stupid on camera, but I've had it work before, so I'm gonna try it because it works. A lot of people say freaking morons out there calling wood knocking, but it's like, dude, get out of your backyard and freaking go look for yourself. This is dangerous work and I think calling people morons for actually looking and trying to find evidence for you guys is kind of ignorant too. So keep that in mind, guys. It's better than just walking around doing nothing, waiting for something to happen. Okay, come on. It's a lot of walking out here. You almost need a four wheeler or side by side to get around. You definitely do. Hopefully I can find this recorder. I think it's by that little whiskey bottle. Yeah, it's right on the other side of the whiskey bottle. Yeah. If that, is that what that is, a whiskey bottle? I think so, scotch or something.
being bombarded with acorns. Yeah. Hmm. I don't see it. <laughs> Yeah, that thing's really hard to find, David. Oh, there's that bottle. I don't think that's the same bottle. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I don't remember it being square. It is Jim there's Beam. There's a recorder. Yep, somebody was drinking Jim Beam back here. Well, it's not a park today. Yeah, another windy day, though. Hopefully... It calms down by tonight it should you gonna leave it there or you gonna no i think i think we should put it further back okay. off the road oh look at the acorns it's, now it's raining acorns the lord is feeding the wildlife that's right <laughs> there's looks like deer tracks right there yeah oh i'm sure there's a ton of deer in here there's a path right there really yeah, goes right through there. You grab that, David, for me. Thank you, sir. Not a good day to be hunting, though. At least not right now. Well, it's kind of like that. If yesterday. it's a steady one direction wind, mm -hmm. it's really good because it cover up your oh, that's true. Your sound. Yeah. Whenever you're kind of slipping through the woods. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, there's definitely a good mix of pines and oaks in here. Now, right over here. Big old rock moves. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe they are looking for bugs. I think it'd be a good spot for them to be in, way back here. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Mm -hmm. Those guys from Ozark Mountain Sasquatch, the people like towards Springfield, Southwest Missouri, they they look for Sasquatch in public land and they always say the very far back. They drive their side-by-sides all the way to the very far back. Hmm. That seems to be where they're at. There's definitely more acorns over there by the road. Mm -hmm. I still think they're in your driveway. There's a... Oh yeah, nice trail going up. Nice day though. Beautiful day. Great day to be alive. Yeah, it is. Something dug up a... Yellow jacket's nest. Yeah. Right there. Oh boy. Got oh. the honey. Yeah. Well, I say we go all the way down to the end of this trail. Okay. And see what else we can find. Yeah, I think the further back we get, probably the more action we'll, we'll get on the audio recorders. That's my thinking anyways. So Patrick and I were, we got to right about this spot, right around here, and there's like this little puddle right here in the road, and there was a bunch of little tadpoles in there, and we were just checking them out. Yeah, I think it was this one right here, and all of a sudden we started hearing rock clacks coming from right down in there. So I think hanging the audio somewhere in here, where you can hear way down in that valley would be pretty good. Okay. Now. Yeah, that battery was about dead so I'm gonna put this battery in here replace it make sure everything's good it just sucks when you put a recorder out and you don't capture anything I've had that happen so many times well at least you ought to get acorns falling anyway mm-hmm <laughs> yeah what I don't like is when you take out the battery it resets everything you gotta set the time and date and do all that and oh you know what's bad about that though what's that forgetting where you put it <clears throat> yeah oh yeah absolutely <laughs> we've had that happen if a few times you have to you have to 
get a GPS coordinates on it, mm -hmm. and you better get it to the exact point because just trying to find <laughs> that thing, we know where it was at, but oh, just yeah. trying to find it right there is bad enough. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I'm thinking one of these trees over here, just where you can't see it from the road. Worked out pretty well. What do you think, David? Is this a good spot? Yeah, I've already lost it. Yeah? All right, <laughs> let me GPS that. Good chance something will come out of this bottom. Yeah. Let me get a drink. Um, there's a nice path right there. Yeah, yeah, there's a good trail right there. Maybe I can find some tracks over in here. Might look around that pond. Yeah. I've already lost the recorders. <laughs> oh, I see it. Do you? Yeah. I'm glad you do. Yeah. <laughs> Is it in that little tree? Yeah, it's in that little tree right there. Maybe we ought to try a ribbon on the tree. <laughs> yeah, I've thought about that too. I've yeah. got some ribbon tape. Yeah. Or just tie it close to it or something. Yeah. Well, we might have to find another bottle and throw it right by the spot. For deer tracks. Definitely deer tracks. Let me show you guys. Look at all these tracks. Well, this pond's well used. It is? Yeah. Well, it ought to be. They're hitting it really hard. <clears throat> Fairly clean water. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. Surprised there's any water in it this time of year. I am too. Yeah. All right, we'll let it roll one more night and Maybe this spot will make a difference if the other spot didn't capture anything. Just follow this drainage right to it. Yeah. Yeah, this is the type of stuff they like to hang out in. Real thick stuff. that you sent me the um, other day? Yeah. Did you read it? The one from... Uh, or, uh, back in the 40s? Yeah. The encounter back in the 40s of Momo? Yeah, that's right next to Bill's, right behind his house. Well, see, that's even before the Patterson and them, yeah. Patterson Gimlin film, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, that was in the 1940s. That guy said that he found, he found it to be strange because he would find fresh tracks, footprints in the summer, but not in, in the winter in the time. Winter? Yeah. yeah. I think they go underground. They have to be. I seen there. Oh yeah. The 
feeling when we do find the X structure, it's going to be a big, healthy big. one. Both ends stuck in the ground, too. Me and Linda's went down all these trails. Yeah. See anything neat down there? No. Okay. I mean woods, big woods. Yeah. We have we have seen a few deer oh. by getting off the main path. Yeah. We need a we need a mount that sticks in the cup holder. Oh, I know. A, a, one of them. A camera mount thing? Uh -huh. If it had if it was on a gimbal it'd be perfectly straight. Yeah. Yeah, these roads are never ending it seems. Well, that's a big old tree. Yeah it is. I have a tree that's an arch. Uh -huh. Right there? Yeah. It's a white oak. Mm -hmm. It's hard to see from here. Holding it down. Yeah. I don't know. I'll go check it out. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, that's a big arch. Hmm, that is unusual. Yeah, that's a good find, David. Real good find. Good arch pointing down that way from the trail. It looked like it could be. Never know. Yeah, really good arch. Uh, log yard. Oh, okay. Down there where I took you before? Yeah. So we're right next to the river basically. We're fixing to end up right at the river. Yeah. For camping like you do. Uh huh. In the tent. Yeah. Because there's not no room down here to turn a camper around. Uh huh. That's why I want to put my camper top back on the back of my truck. Yeah. That way I can bring my boat over here. And if I want to, I can camp out in the back of my truck. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. That big tree. Oh, yeah. Right that's, there. That's big a, sycamore. It's a giant. How old do you think that tree is? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Look at this one. Yeah, that one's it's an old one there. A person could put a camper right here, but uh -huh. you don't, you can't see the water. Yeah. there okay maybe we'll see some elk maybe not you can see big trails though coming well, down there's sign of them from my house all the way to here yeah so you better hurry it up and get across there Well, mainly, he, he come out to my house, oh, it's been about three years ago, and helped me find out what I had over there killing everything. And everybody wants updates, so he comes over and everything's peace and quiet now, but 
it's real good it killed five of my cows including a bull it just break their necks if you had any broken neck deer gravel springs too low to get a boat across looks like the turtle made it across yeah finally seen a deer they get up on their front porch really that's how it is where I live um, the bears like to get into people's properties like the bird cedars and the little bird bats and all that yeah trash cans it's, it's starting to become a problem in Crawford yeah I didn't want to film too much down there because I don't know if they wanted to be on a Sasquatch film <laughs> well probably not yeah probably not you think people are doubtful when when we tell them about this stuff or I mean, it's not hard to believe with all the woods out here. Well, he's like he's like I was. I've lived here all my life. Now I ain't never had seen nothing like that. Yeah. If he was out here, I'd see him. Yeah. Hopefully, we get some good audio recordings. And everybody from this town will get to hear it. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, I don't care if they care or not. Yeah. I just think it's it's neater when you hear something on camera and you say, oh, did you hear that? Hopefully this time I'll be able to pull it out and show it. Yeah. Film something. You never know, there might be something standing there when I go and review the footage. You ought to film that over there. Okay. Oh, that, that cut over there? Yeah, all the way up through there. Yeah, there might be something standing in there. I have a pair of binoculars uh -huh. on a scene like that. Yeah. I can take them binoculars and look that whole area over and zoom in and out of it and really? see it on TV. Oh, wow. Sit there in my chair and, and do it right there in my chair on the videos. Yeah. But the problem is most guys move the camera a lot and... Mm -hmm. It's hard to, if it's a real long still shot, yeah, where you can really look it over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some nice country in here. Big country. Yeah. Is there at the house? Yeah, in those fields. And then they just Or in the tall grass, yeah. Yeah. Real pretty bird they are. Yeah, there ain't a whole lot of meat on them. I right. like to eat them, but... Yeah, I've had them before. They taste good. You can buy them. Yeah. You can buy them at Walmart. Yeah, and people eat the... In the freezer section. They eat the eggs, too. Well eggs. Yeah. Now, that, that'd take a bunch of them to have a meal. I know. Dust clears. Yeah. A little dusty. All right, she is recording. It's on? Yeah. Should be. Yeah. Just want to see what it looks like standing right next to it. Holy moly. That is way higher up than what I thought. That's amazing. So, it's one foot, two foot, three foot. Probably like a three by three. Man, that is cool. Can you zoom in on that? about seven or six six and a half feet high probably and it's in these burns too where they burnt the the pine trees maybe that's where the elk like to hang out at 
Here's another one right here. Oh yeah. That's good stuff, David. Gem bean bottle. I decided not to start picking them up or else we're gonna have a big barrel full of gem bean bottles. Yeah, I'd say this area right here, he's been crossing. Yeah. Well, it's a good spot. He's probably bent that. Yeah. Often thin it out, do timber stand improvement. Yeah. For these elk. Yeah. They eat them young saplings. Uh huh. I didn't, I wasn't even filming. Yeah, that's a good sized rub there. And I guess these elk are living in here because there's a bunch of rubs. But it looks like it it broke the, the pine tree. Look at that. This thing is a monster. Yeah. Where's the rest of it? You think it got caught in his horns? This right it? there it is. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't think so. I don't remember seeing the Demar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a robo all the way over there. Where's that? Straight ahead. And they don't let you put up trail cameras anymore on public land. That's a bummer. Oh, really? Yeah. They changed that for some reason. Okay, now that's a perfect rub. That looks fresh, David. It is, yeah. I mean, I was looking pretty good in these There's burns. another one that just broke off right there. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's a big rub there. David, I don't think this was here earlier. I guess we didn't see it. The backside's a lot bigger. Holy moly. That's how high up it goes. Yeah. Well, they start working on it and they'd have bend over. Uh-huh. And they'll just work right up it. Yeah. But there's a little one that's broke. Oh, right yeah. Right there. And I think that one right over there a buck rubbed on this one last year, and I think something rubbed on it again. Oh, wow. Yeah, it thrashed on that tree. Broke it, and then got in here and thrashed around. But right here is a real nice scrapes, David. Do elk? Do I don't scrape? know if they do or not. I don't think they do. There's two of them right here. One. Wow. <laughs> well, we didn't see any elk, but we found their sign. Yeah. So they're around. They're definitely around. Mm -hmm. There's another one over there. Really? Yep. It's broke. It's peeled and the top broke out of it right over there. Across oh, the yeah. road. See it? Yep. There by that big pine tree. Mm-hmm. I sure do. Come back around uh -huh. down there by the shooting range. Oh, okay. That's on. That's me. That's your property. The fence is. Okay. Well. It is quite a ways through there. Yeah. Well, this is one of the nicest ponds I've seen in the area. There's a lot of tracks down there. Yeah.
So this would be a good place to check for Sasquatch tracks and structures back here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw that the other day. Yeah, I can get down in there. Yeah, I see a big old hole down in there. Yeah, it might happen. Yeah. Yeah, don't come down this way, David. You won't make it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's tracks galore in here. That's all animal tracks. What is it? I don't know. Where at? It might be. Are there fish in here? Oh, wow. Well, that'd be really cool. Yeah. A lot of frogs. Yeah, something's been coming down in here and wallering in this mud. You see anything, David? Yeah, I found something. Okay, coming. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a fresh one. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice find, David. Yeah. Yeah, that is unusual. There's an old one right there. Yeah, there's a few bends there. I just don't see that that rotten tree doing all that damage. Well, here's the thing. There is no limbs at that log. Mm -hmm. This here, if it was standing up straight, it would just fall in between that pine and, and the hickory. Mm -hmm. But that, the, that hickory has been poked underneath it because still alive, it's even. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's in there, isn't it? There's a bunch of little sticks stacked. It's actually poked down in the ground. Is it really? The end of this tree is poked yep. down in the ground. Oh, yeah. Good find, David. Well, that, that really makes it look more like something then. Oh, yeah. From this end, it really looks like a good structure. Okay. Yeah. Good find, David. And they're pointing that way. What's that way? Trail? Trail five, okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird that these sticks are going up that way. Okay. Definitely looks like something. Well, let me look around here and maybe we can find some good little arches. Maybe they were eating some turtles in here. Yeah, an old turtle shell. Yeah. David, I think this area needs to be explored more. Yeah, in the future. We might find bigger structures. Yeah, this is kind of weird, David. We got an X over here, and this tree looks like it was thrown into position. Man, it's so peaceful out here. Just listening to all the bugs, the birds, 
and the sounds of the forest is indescribable. It's just such a great feeling to get away from regular life and to come out here and experience wildlife at its fullest. I think other than hunters, nobody else experiences wildlife such as this in their lifetime. So I'm very fortunate and lucky to experience that. It was really fun going out in the park earlier with David and seeing all these different trails out in the park. All the different trail systems are just fascinating. I mean, they go all throughout the park and just intersect it in different areas and some of them go into remote areas some of them are locked off some you can't take ATVs down but for the most part most of the trails in this park system or in this park are open to the public which is really cool we went to the elk viewing area and we saw a lot of big giant rubs they look giant to me just because I'm not used to seeing elk the elk are just so much bigger than the whitetail, it's insane. But that would be an excellent food source for the Sasquatch, and I can see why we don't find just clumps of sign in one area. There's so much woods to comb through, it's insane. And not to mention there's so much different varieties of food available to all the animals out here that they can be anywhere. The elk can be anywhere, the deer could be anywhere, the Sasquatch can be anywhere. I can't believe that David found a structure earlier. And to me, it seemed like it was a structure. It could be a down tree, but there was a lot of bends in there. And when we, when we walked further back in the area, we saw even more bends, so I don't know. I'm thinking there's something back there. It's the perfect area. It's like right behind his food plots in the conservation area and then there's a pond and the stuff is all behind that pond so it's the perfect place for a predator or big game animal to be hiding i'm definitely going to search th through that area i don't know about this visit but the next time i come down here i'm going to hit that little creek that goes through his fields and into the conservation area and go up into that pine thicket and look around. I think I'll find something. I'm pretty sure I will. I mean, we already did, so. I didn't have any time to hunt on this visit. It's just not practical to hunt in the mornings and evenings and try to run around and film all day and search for evidence. The searching for evidence really taints the forest when it comes to hunting. You don't want to leave your scent everywhere and ruin, ruin the hunt that you're possibly going to have. So it wouldn't have made any sense to walk around everywhere and then set up and hunt. So I figured I'm going to put all my time into the channel and I'll just come down next time to do my man stuff. So I hope you guys know this is a lot of work. It's a lot of fun too, but it wears on you and I'm doing this for you guys and for the channel's sake. I know David's been trying to help me out a lot with the channel and I really appreciate that. He's the one that really got my channel going. You know, he's my first big story and that means a lot to me. So David, thank you for reaching out to me and sharing your encounter. I know I'm a pain in the butt to deal with, but I appreciate it, buddy. You're one of my best friends, and I'm happy that I met you. I hope this wind dies down by the time it gets dark, because last night, things were happening here and there, but the wind would be blowing, and I don't think it really picked much up, because if it's going to pick up that sound hundreds of yards away how's it not going to pick up the the wind that's blowing into the recorder and all the leaves that are moving around and acorns that are dropping and 
me in the camp, you got the fire burning, so I don't know. Maybe we got something last night. I mean, I have high hopes in the recorder that's in the north position on this property just because it sounded like a person in pain over there and it was right there by my recorder. So it's gonna be awesome, guys. Hopefully we got something. I think, I think there's a good chance of that, guys. I think David's coming up here to snag me up for dinner. Not me, but we're gonna eat some pork roast or barbecue pulled pork. It's gonna be amazing, guys. It's either David coming or a plane, I'm not sure. I got this little, this little deal here. No, I'm fine. What you got? No, the CMF detector. Oh. But maybe using it out in the woods, we'll get something. Some type of fluctuation. Or just. Just sitting it here though, just, is what I mean. Like just if sit I sit it here and then it starts spiking, are they around? You know, is that yeah. the same? As like when a dog reacts to him, you know, and starts mm -hmm. getting all crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I mean, the only thing you can do is try it. Yep. I'll There's a big flat rock right there. Oh, those those rocks got really hot last night. They did. Real hot. It was it was insane. But well, you should have put one of them in bed with you. Yeah, I'm gonna put it up right here on this cooler. I'm gonna turn on this audio recorder as well. What do you think, David? Should I turn it on? Yep. The wind's not blowing. You ain't gonna so, get nothing with it off. Yeah. You sure you don't want me to do a call while you're up here? No, I don't want you to do a call. You don't want me to make you look bad. No, I'm <laughs> I understand. I'll do the call when you're almost home. I'm not, I'm not into having an encounter, Miguel. I was just trying to call in the owls. Yeah, I understand. I've heard enough. Yeah. That thing's got I'd just soon leave them alone myself. Yeah. They're leaving me alone. I'm... Well, the old moon's getting bright. Hmm. I wonder why this thing's going crazy. I wonder if it's because of the Jackery battery. I don't know. Could be because that battery. Yeah, I think that battery had it going nuts. Right there in front of my tent. Well, I can tell you one thing, that orb that you got in the daytime, uh -huh. that answers the question if, they're, if they are out in the daytime. Yeah. You know, they're yeah. not just at night. Yeah, it does. So that's another question answered because them ones that I seen flying going haywire above them deer that day it was real cloudy and foggy uh -huh. it was nine o'clock in the morning but it was pretty dark yeah from the fog and the just a rainy dreary day yeah they just look like a bunch of bumblebees What you'd think of them flying yeah. around. Didn't seem to bother the deer none, though. Yeah. They acted like there wasn't nothing going on. You think they're going to put buffalo next in this park? <laughs> no, I... We'll never do that. I think you need they're going to put for wolves. That. Yeah. They've already brought got wolves in Missouri, but uh -huh. they say they ain't. 
That's but, not good. There's already plenty enough hunters. Yeah, but they think they got to have something to take care of the sick animals, you know, the sick mm -hmm. elk and myself. I'd just soon not have a wolf. Yeah, that could be a big I'd problem. I'd soon not huh? have mountain lions and bears too, but they don't bother me. I don't. Yeah. You know, and that, that's something else about people camping. There's bears and mountain lions and coyotes and wolves and at most of the, most all over the United States. And people don't have that much problems. You take you take uh, uh, steps to try to protect yourself from them, you know, but. Mm -hmm. How many of them do you see, or how many carcasses do you find? I tell you what really got my me to to uh, realizing why I couldn't see these things in the woods is because I've looked for horses, I've looked for cows. You take a fifteen hundred pound cow, or even a two thousand pound horse. Mm -hmm. and you're out there in the woods looking for it. And if that thing stands still, you'll walk right past it or you'll drive right past it. Mm -hmm. If it don't flicker its tail or move its head towards you or do some kind of movement, you ain't going to see it. Right. Because I've had to look for these cows having these calves because they'll go hide whenever they're going to have a calf usually. And... You know, you just go make sure that they're, try to find them to make sure they're doing all right. They're not struggling or anything. And can't find them for nothing. And two days later, they're out there in the field eating with the rest of them with a brand new baby calf. Mm -hmm. And you've looked the whole place over. Yeah, you know? that is wild. Uh, and there they are, you know, at least eight, nine hundred pounds, you know, and b solid black or solid white. Even the solid white ones, <laughs> you know. I mean, if they lay yeah, still, they they find them a, a little hiding place, and they lay still. You just go right past them. Mm -hmm. Just happened. Mine so used to a bucket of feed. If I if I shake a bucket of feed, they usually come to me, or make some kind of gesture. They can't help it. Their belly. Yeah. Talks to them, but. Right. You know, yeah, I was looking hard for elk today, and I knew they were probably around. Well, they, just, you, they're they definitely around because there's too many rubs. Them trees just peeled all to pieces. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's like I told you. I drove right, me and Linda drove right up on within, within 20 yards mm -hmm. of two that was standing, one of them had its butt out in the road. Yeah. And we drove up there and I shut the side side off and never seen them until I did that and one of them moved its mm -hmm. head right beside us. You yeah. know, if I'd have kept going, we would have probably, well, we'd have seen it getting out of the road, but the old logging trail that we was on, yeah, they was on the very top of the mountain. Uh, and they was three bulls. Mm -hmm. Missouri's got some dandy bull elk. Really? If they stayed alive. Mm -hmm. they've, they've got some dandies. They just ain't enough of them. Yeah. They probably never will be as many of them as they are deer, but it's such a blessing, and it's a, a blessing in one way and a curse in the other if somebody hits one with a car, yeah, you know, crossing the highway or something, but people not having to drive halfway across the United States to try to go hunting and then same thing, not get to see one or not get to even get a tag for one mm -hmm. 
You want to know a really good spot for a Sasquatch encounter or experience? Where? Right there where we were driving up to the current river at Paint Rock or whatever it's called. Yep. Right before we got there where we saw that turtle, all that to your left. They like oh. to get in there at night when people are camping mm -hmm. and they'll do some crazy stuff. It's happened to me a lot of times, like the big giant trees, the river bottom, underbrush and all the vines. It's like the perfect habitat. Well, people say they live in trees. Them trees over there are big enough they could live in one, or they could get in it anyway. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, them trees are huge. Them old cypress trees, mm -hmm. cottonwood trees. Well, when people are camping on the river, that's where they're going to get in to freak them out. Start smelling in. them hot dogs roasting. Yep. Fish cooking. Yeah. I'm sure there's been a lot of stuff that's happened. People down there. hooping and hollering, drinking beer, and yeah, that's probably why most people parties. don't notice it. Is because they're drinking, or well, obviously because they have no idea they're out there. Most people, but well, I know another thing too. Once you have, once you have an encounter, mm -hmm. some reason, some way about it, you're more in tune to hearing. That type of thing. Most time, you know, if you're just mm -hmm. sitting around a campfire with a bunch of people. Yeah. And if you hadn't ever paid any attention to that kind of thing, if it's never brought to your attention, you don't pay no attention to it. Mm -hmm. But if you've heard that stuff before, you just hear it. It, it comes to your attention when you hear yeah. a wood knock or something like that, you know. Have you heard anything while being out here? Tonight? Yeah. Uh, no, I heard the helicopter. Quiet. Huh? It's been pretty quiet. I mean, I, I heard, I heard that, that hoot owl. owl yeah, I heard that hoot owl. I couldn't tell earlier, though, if I heard, like, a limb or something behind you, if it was squirrels or if it was just a fire. Well, I'd say squirrels are bedded down this time. The hoodows get them if they wasn't. Yeah. Coons and possums and Where should I walk to tonight for a night vision investigation? Where do you think I should go? I was to thinking either walking up the current river trail or the public land trail or going down that way. Where am I less likely not going to get bit by a snake? In that tent right there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I walked down this one because it's a dirt road. Yeah. And I got pretty far down there last night. But um, I was thinking maybe going down that way. Well, anyway, from here, unless you go out here and walk walk the main mm -hmm. trail no way there, to walk in the you're woods going to have to go downhill. Crunch, crunch, snap. Yeah. Pop. If I can cut some trail, I can maybe catch an animal that's crossing or hear something before it comes out, you know. I actually think, Miguel, that that's you're just better feeling. off to let them come to you. That's what I've been thinking. I think you'd be better to have something happen if you were sitting here just being quiet thinking. I mean, that's this is where I got most of the stuff. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. Let them come to you, and you're not making any racket. You know, we're sitting here. We look for yakking. deer all day today, and that one came right up to us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. I was looking hard today too. We only saw that one little spike down there by the river. Yeah. You can't eat them rubs and scrapes. You can smell of them. Yeah. That ain't oh, gonna man, do you I no good. I should have smelled that one. I didn't think of that to see if it was somewhat fresh because those elk stink. I wonder if them, I know they wallow. Mm -hmm. They wallow in mud. Yeah, they just smell like cattle. But I I think they wallow in mud a lot of times to keep the flies off of them. Oh yeah, for sure. But they, they pee in that mud. I don't know if it's a scent thing to make their scent stronger or what? Mm -hmm. Oh, I put up a vine scrape oh, right there. You? 
where they're they've been scraping it uh -huh. right there by the salt block so if you see this vine tied to a little rope that was me <laughs> don't knock it down yeah <laughs> it's not really a good spot because it's next to that tree and there's like a bunch of roots yeah if there was more dirt it'd probably be better but <laughs> well you need or a little rake. bit out yeah you need a little leaf rake or something yeah i raked it the best i could but if they start hitting it it's going to be a really good spot to put a camera I used bucks. to have a camera down there. And... Yeah. Oh, I put up a camera. <laughs> this was weird. After I saw that big triangle craft uh -huh. that went over my house, um, I put up that trail camera in my room because that orb video that we showed on the video. Yeah. But uh, I put up a trail camera in my room, and I don't know, it was just awkward watching yourself at night <laughs> sleep. You know what I mean? Nothing happened. Somebody watching me. Yeah, but it was that the same camera that that I gave to you and it's actually really good quality like indoors uh -huh. I was shocked outdoors uh -huh. is different because you got that distance well you get but to see indoors, how many times you roll and tumble yeah it was awkward watching myself like jeez but yeah. I didn't see any orbs or little weird is this aliens. guy going to do something funky yeah <laughs> well I didn't know if I was going to start levitating or something it's like I need to go to church what would you have done if you'd done that if I did something like that I'd you probably, went and I'd probably, seeked help? I, well, I'd probably stop doing the channel, probably. <laughs> and seek help. Try to find the right path. <laughs> yeah. person needs the right path. Now, I honestly, sure. you know, you bring that up, I was relieved that nothing happened. You know, it yeah. was normal. Cause, well, that's why you put there yeah, to see if there would be anything oh, yeah. that you need to be worried about. Yeah. Well, I've experienced stuff that I should be worried about. It's I don't lay still enough to put a can. That thing be going off all the time. Well, yeah, I got up to go to the restroom, drink water, and then I turned on my side. So it's like, man, how many times is this camera going to go off in one night? Yeah. <laughs> killing my batteries, man. The dummy on the camera is killing my batteries. Yeah. That was me. <laughs> Nut behind the it was plate. weird that you know i made myself the test rat you know what i mean it was, yeah that, that was awkward it's like i don't want to do that <laughs> i'm a little lab rat and i'm watching myself yeah <laughs> that so. could that could make a person think you maybe you're into yourself a little bit too much yeah i know right if i did that all the time <laughs> like, guys check this out <laughs> There's my call. Yeah, all night I kept looking at that red light back there, hoping that it was still recording. And it, it did. It recorded most of the night. I red delete. light on this tripod? No, further back behind my tent. There's like a dim oh, red light. Oh, I don't see it. No. That cooler's in the way, I guess. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, I looked over there last night, and I thought I saw red eyes, the red glowing eyes. Oh, crap. Well, yeah, and I was like, oh, it's my, it's my recorder. Thank God. 